stopped at Target to use the bathroom and I bought my husband a lightsaber. I need to be stopped. Hey Star Wars nerds, my name is Alvin and welcome to a really late night adventure. It is 11.30 p.m. on the eve of Force Friday and we are hitting up the three locations that open up at midnight, which is Target, Toys R Us, and Walmart. Uh, I really like that four foot plush they're gonna be raffling off at Target, but that's only for like the first 50 people get a raffle ticket and people have been in line for hours, so guarantee there's more than 50 people there. So we're gonna hit Toys R Us first and mainly we're just looking for pops and a really fun time because it's Star Wars, guys. So see you there. All right, so we're at Toys R Us, it's 11.45, and there's a little bit of a line, but not a really bad one. So I'm gonna step out into the parking lot and show you this line, because I'm not too intimidated. I think it's, it's an okay line. done this kind of a thing since I did Black Friday shopping with my mother-in-law like five years ago so like, oh, it's fun. I guess it's like Black Friday for nerds. I'm having fun. Um, did we like totally miss the Pop Funkos or are they all gone? Okay so we are at Toys R Us. There was, you can see it right there. That little stand right there, that's where they had all the pops. So as you can imagine, not very many pops. So I managed to snag a Praetorian Guard, BB-8, Poe Dameron, my boyfriend, Ray, Snoke, and Undercover Finn. You wanna focus, Finn? There we go. So then they also were given out tee shots. It's got a little, it's got a porg on it, guys. The porg. And then this is the free poster. So my husband went back into the fray over there somewhere to look for some other stuff. And I'm just, I'm guarding the pops. That is what we're doing. We're now at the second stop, which is Super Target. Or Target, if you're super fancy like we are. So we're at Target. Oh, but there's a pork on the door. See a little porgy? Pork, pork. What were the exclusives you were looking for? It was just the pork exclusive. Oh. Yeah, they're, they they're gone. They got Kylo. And that exclusive for no Target stores in Colorado got. Really? Yeah, we were looking it up huh. earlier. That's crazy. I was wondering if it's going to be like an online only item like Bodhi was for the SDCC shared exclusives. Yeah. Probably. Well, here's the original Yoda. You only have Dagobah Yoda. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only 25 for Finn's gun. That's not bad. Would it even fit me though? Um, Does it fit you? I don't know. Why? Why? Not with your glasses. So what? Rebel pilots can't have like visual impurities? No. Mm. Well, this is even more dangerous because I won't see where I'm flying. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you all. You need the helmet then. Right. 
so it is now 1 15 in the morning and we just got home we did not end up going to walmart because it turns out because we're colorado um all our walmarts were not open at midnight so they did say select locations and i was hoping maybe this time colorado could not be so crappy in the toy market no we're still crappy in the toy market so target real quick while i'm thinking about it did not have not a single store in colorado got the target exclusive fork so i did pick up some other stuff besides just what i showed you at toys R Us. so stick through to the end of the video to see everything i will give you a little sneak though he was on clearance plush bb8 yeah so stick stick through with us through the end and i will do a complete haul all right it is now 9 12 a.m uh on actual course friday my makeup is totally perfectly on point because I did that super trashy thing where I slept in it and it just came out perfect. So that's that's the secret to good makeup, guys. Do your makeup the day before you want it to look nice and then just sleep in it. So today, if everybody's open and whatnot, we are planning on hitting Walmart, Petco, Hot Topic. I have a list, hold on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Walmart, Petco, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Kohl's, Walgreens, and Best Buy. So that is our that is our list for the day. I think first off is Walmart. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff there. up at the first Walmart and I may have cleaned them out of pork pops because I think there's gonna be no oh my god that's a lot of birds. oh my god that's a lot of birds oh, okay <laughs> just keep that in for a blooper though <laughs> okay so <laughs> um, just finished up at the first Walmart and I may have cleaned them out of pork pops because I think there's gonna be nothing cuter than having a whole herd or flock of those cute little penguin guys like all over the um, entertainment stand in front of the TV. I think that's just gonna be the cutest thing ever and I might glue one to my dashboard so I just, they're just so damn cute. So now we're heading over to another Walmart as well as the mall. So uh, that is our next stop if these people would figure out what lane they need to be in even though there's signage a thousand feet back. So we'll see you when we get there. So just finished up at box lunch. I didn't film in there because I got too busy chitty chatting with somebody in line. So we got here 10 minutes before they opened and it was like really fun. I got nervous because like the third person in line owns a store and I was like, oh no, he's probably gonna get them all. He didn't because box lunch has their shit together and they have still after probably like 15 of us went in there for the Chrome BB9E, there's still like 10 or 11 left. So, because they kept bringing out more and more boxes. So up next now is the Disney store because I totally forgot that that was in this mall.
at GameStop or Box Lunch. Um, I filmed a little bit in the Disney store. I didn't do any filming in Hot Topic. Um, they're just kind of like crowded in there, but I did get stuff. So I will be doing a full haul at the end of the video. And now we're hitting up the other Walmart, the one that's here by the mall. Uh, we're looking for the 12 inch Usagi TMNT XL figure and then just seeing what they have for the Pop Funkos. I know there's Star Wars stuff in general. The first Walmart we went to did not have the Princess Leia Walmart exclusive and it looked like they were only missing from the way the display was set up like maybe five pops. So I'm thinking they probably didn't get her in at all. Um, Cause they had like six or seven of the Resistance BB units. So yeah, we're gonna see what this one has. So just finished up at Walmart. I forgot to film in there. I did find the Usagi XL I was looking for and also the Princess Leia Walmart exclusive pops. All the boxes, they had five of them. Every single box was fudged a little bit somewhere. Like either the top was crushed in or the corners were crushed in. So it kind of looked like an Irish step dancing class. Kind of had a bunch of fun all over the boxes. It's just kind of crappy, but got one anyway because it's Princess Leia. So, and then I'm not really sure where we're going next, but more places. I know I really want to try to get to Petco. Uh, to get some of the Star Wars toys for my doggy, my cattle dog, because he saw my plush porgy last night and had a conniption fit that it wasn't for him, like a total breakdown over it. So I had to hide it in another room from him. So I have to get a makeup for him so that he won't be that upset that mom got a toy and he didn't. So I know for sure we're gonna go there. No. Did I believe it? No. Zapu. Zapu, leave it. Leave it. My cattle dog has seen, oh. <laughs> my cattle dog has seen my porg and he wants to know why he can't have it. No, cause it's mom's. <laughs> hey, no, I'll get you something tomorrow from Petco. So I grew up as a Star Trek kid. And I, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm, I'm betraying myself and my childhood because I've been bitten hard by the Star Wars bug, guys. I blame the droids, okay? They are just so, except C-3PO, he bothers the crap out of me. But the droids are just so cute, oh my gosh. Especially BB-8, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And now with these new pork things, To be fair, I do have Tribbles, so I'm not fully abandoning my Star Trek roots. There's just not like new, there's not the level of Star Wars merchandise that there is for Star Trek, you know? So, I'm in deep, guys. I've fallen into, I've fallen into the Star Wars hole. But there's cool stuff down here.